Hi YouTube, today we're going to do something completely different on the channel. We're going to do a little bit of upcycling. Roll the intro. Okay, so here we have what some people will call a standard lamp, a tall lamp, a floor standing lamp. It's in an oak finish and it was destined for the bin pretty much. So to rescue it from landfill, I've taken it on and we're going to do some repairs and also make it safe because this is slightly dangerous and I'll show you that in just a second. So here you can see we've got the main section here that will then screw onto the lower section and then that screws into the base which is currently upside down. There we go. So obviously everything probably just needs a little wipe over with some furniture polish just to uh, bring the finish back up. So the dangerous part that I was just mentioning is this here. So the cord from the bulb comes down through the hole here and connects to this. Now, even though it is elevated up off the floor using these little legs here, these screw terminals are actually open and live. So if this was on a hard floor, it wouldn't be too much of a problem. But even though if you spilt something next to it, you do have the risk of obviously shorting this out. And obviously using this on a carpet would be a definite no-no. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to completely rewire the whole thing. And the cable's gonna come straight down, straight through, straight out to a plug. And also we're gonna get rid of this modern white looking flex and we're gonna use some nice antique looking gold two core cable instead. Okay, so to start off with, what we're gonna do is undo the first brass collar on here and we're gonna get rid of this old lampshade frame. Um, this didn't come with a lampshade, so I will be putting a new lampshade on this at the end. So we'll keep the collar to one side and um, that can go in for recycling or scrap. Secondly, we need to undo the second brass ring and then that comes off. So all of you people overseas, you probably don't see these. Uh, this is a bayonet fitting. You're probably used to the screw in Edison type. So with this, we just pull this up, out and through. And here we can see the actual cable itself. Now, what they've used here is actually three core cable. So as this is a wooden unit, and obviously light bulbs only use two connections, we don't really need to earth this. That's why I've opted for two core cable. So I will disconnect this with um, a screwdriver and pull the cable out and through, and then we'll start threading through the new gold one. Okay, so that's unscrewed and disconnected now. So we can just pull through the old cable. So we'll pull that from the opposite end all the way out. And then same on this part here, that has already been disconnected. Um, so we'll just pull all that out through here. Also on the bottom, there is a, um, cord retaining nut as well to stop you from pulling it through so once these two sections are assembled together and everything's wired up we can lock the cable in place uh, just before we attach this to the base okay so we have the gold cable unwrapped now so we'll just thread that up through the bottom all the way through and out the other end and then we'll thread it through the next section, which is down here. And we'll thread that all the way through. And hopefully that should come out the other end without any problems. Okay, so now we have the flex threaded through the whole of the main part of the lamp. So what we're gonna do now is just snip down in between the two cores of cable. And then what we can do is just grab one and pull and separate. Now this can be quite tough. 
Okay, so now we've uncovered the two main cores underneath, what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip off about three or four millimeters, which is about an eighth of an inch of those working in Imperial. And then what we do is we just twist the copper strands round into a bit of a spiral so they don't all splay out. And then what we do is we insert it back into the bulb holder, into these two holes, tighten the two screws up, and then you just loop the cable back around underneath these little cable holding mounts here, and then we can reassemble. Okay, there we go. So that's now screwed into the terminals and under the cable securing clamp, then we can just pull this back so it's in the right direction, and then we can just slot it back into the actual holder. Okay, there we go, that's all slotted into place now. Then we can just drop this over the top and screw that back down. There we go, that's all brilliant. Now let's address the other end. Okay, so on the base, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna completely remove this because we don't want it on here at all. As I said earlier, this is very, very dangerous and you are pretty much exposing live terminals and we don't want that. So that can go completely. And also for some reason, they've used a cable clip here, which we don't want either. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, so now we have a nice plain base. What I need to do now is assemble the two shafts together and then thread the cable through here and then we can fit a plug so we can plug it into the wall. Okay then, so to save twisting the flex that we've just attached to the actual bulb holder, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna hold that end still and then rotate this threaded part here into the stand so then we're not twisting the cable. Now, if you want this to be a permanent fixture, you could put some wood glue on here, but um, just in case I have to move house again, I'm just gonna screw it together like so. And then, as I mentioned earlier, there's a little grub screw on here, which will hold the flex in place and not let it pull. So I'm gonna give that a little tighten up as well. means the flex cannot be pulled through and we just want to snug it up we don't want to over tighten it because it is plastic and we do risk splitting the plastic so that should be enough to hold that in place okay so the next part is now to get the base and to get the other end of the cable and like I said I did have 10 meters here which is more than I need and we're gonna thread it through the top, out through the bottom. And just keep pulling it through, and pulling it through, and pulling it through. Then all we need to do now is, like I said, save twisting the uh, cable. I'm just going to hold the main part still and rotate the base on like so. There we go, so that's on there nice and snug now. And that will keep the cable in place and not, not let it pull. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so the stand is now complete, as you can see, all the way up. Now we're just gonna fit a mains plug on the end. Okay, so going back to another safety point of view, um, this is the plug I've taken the back off and disconnected from the cable. So this is the plug with a three amp fuse, which is correct for lighting. 
Um, this is actually very dangerous and would not pass the British standards test. The reason being is, if you look at these two terminals here, nowadays everything has some shielding around here. So if you partially plug it into a socket on the wall, then these are covered because this is the live and neutral terminals. So this is a very old plug and probably reflects the age of the actual lamp itself. So we won't be using this, uh, but just to keep in with the kind of authenticity and the age, we will use this one because it is a bit of an older one. I'll wipe it down first. Also, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this 13 amp fuse sticker because 13 amps is the maximum rating for the UK and this is never gonna use anything near 13 amps for a bulb. And I'll explain that hopefully in a minute. So we'll get rid of the stick out, I'll give this a clean up and then we'll start wiring up the plug. Actually, I've had a slight change of plan. I've just found this in my box of bits. So we're gonna use this one instead. I think the black with the gold would look quite smart instead of having an off-white dirty plug. Okay, so in here you can see we have a 13 amp fuse. We don't need a 13 amp fuse. We only need a three amp for lighting. So I'm going to pop that out of there. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a new 13 amp one, sorry, a new three amp one in instead. So I've got a pack of new ones here. We don't know the history of the, um, the lamp. So rather than reuse the one in the old plug we'll just use this one instead okay so that will just pop in there in a minute and i always put it with the amperage facing upwards so you can see what it is and um, so first of all let's just undo the um, flex holders give us a little bit of room to maneuver in fact completely undo the one side And we can just rotate this round and out the way, like so. Put that on there. That's the screw off the old plug, we don't need that. Okay, so I'm gonna have some more fun and games off camera, splitting and preparing the end of this. Exactly the same as last time. We just need to take about that much off um, and then we'll have the two separate cores and then on the two separate cores, we just need to expose about three millimeters on the end um, to go into the terminals on the plug. Okay, so I've trimmed the ends and attached the two terminals there. So we have the live, which is the one that goes to the fuse and the neutral, which is the other one on the bottom. The top one is always earth. Uh, same on a European plug, same on a North American plug as well. Okay, so we'll just drop those into place like so. As you can see, I've left some of the outer covering there, um, so the cord grip will go over the top. So that is a perfect cut to size. The best thing to do is just hold the cable against the terminals and then snip the ends so you've got an idea of how much you need. As I've said, nice new three amp fuse straight into the plug there. And then as I've only just um, gently tighten these up, let's give these a good tighten now they're in position and get some torque on the screws. We obviously don't want these coming out. There we go. Now we can put the um, little cord clip over the top and we'll get the other screw and just pop that in as well. Okay, there we go, so that screw's in now. Now we just need to tighten them down and make sure it holds the cable perfectly in place. There we go. 
that's really clamped that down on that now so you can give that a good pull and that's not going to go anywhere which is the whole purpose of it and then last thing is just to put the cover back on the plug tighten up the screw there we go all done I think that looks much better than using this old white one here. Yeah, definitely better. Okay, so let's get a bulb in and give it a test run. Okay, so we're plugged in. Obviously the cable goes into the base, up through the shaft and to the top. Here we actually have the old light bulb that came in it. I will be replacing this for either a Philips shoe bulb or an LED bulb, obviously something more energy efficient than the incandescent one. Ta-da! And there we go. Obviously we're getting a little bit of flicker here because it's 50 hertz electricity in the UK and the phone is filming at 60 frames per second. But there we go. Final picture will be this up and running with a nice new lampshade on the top. And there we go. That is how you upcycle one of these. I think that was pretty easy and pretty straightforward and probably only cost me about £10 in parts to sort out a plug and the cable pretty much and obviously we'll put a more energy efficient bulb in here just a side note um, if you are going to undertake anything like this where you are messing with the electrics please only do this if you are confident in doing it if not get a specialist in get somebody who's qualified take it to a local hardware shop and they can do all the wiring for you. Um, if not, if you're happy to do it, please crack on, but don't blame me. This is a guide for the UK, by the way. So obviously in different countries, there'll be different connectors and different sockets that go into the wall, uh, different plugs. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.